back at it again Welcome back to another episode of WA Forbes Adventures. Today we're out here doing a walk around on uh, Big Dylan's GQ. We'll bring him in to tell us a little bit about it. Hey, Robin, how are you? Dylan, how you going, mate? Hey, guys. So this is your, I know it's your GQ and we call it the Mighty GQ. Yeah. Um, just tell us a little bit about it, mate. Yeah, so it's a 1993 GQ Patrol TD42 Silvertop. Um, I've added a turbo onto it and an intercooler. And yeah, it goes alright. Yeah, <laughs> right. um, okay, what's well, so this bar on the front? What do you got going on here? So it's an ARB um, winch compatible bar. Um, I've always sort of wanted this on the GQ. I really like the look of it. Um, picked it up, saw it second hand, and uh, yeah, I've added a King's Dominator Extreme winch on the front here, and uh, that does, which is pretty good. Got the dynamo rope. Yeah, 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 it does. And the spotlights there? Spotlights, yeah, so they're the XTM. Um, they picked them up. I think they're on special for 100 bucks. Um, so I was going special from BCF. Um, and they're, for what they are, they're, they're awesome, like really bright and That's does the job. job. Yeah. As long as you can see it at night time, isn't it? That's it, yeah. Uh, and your comms? Comms, yeah, so I got a GME 6.6 DBI. Um, yeah, it's good for highway driving, uh, really good for highway driving, pick up like massive distance and it's sort of good in hilly terrain as well. Um, you only really need it to talk to each other when we're off-road sort of thing and I just like the look of it too. You like the, yeah. yeah, it's basically the same one as well. Yeah, pretty much the same. Yeah. What's going on on uh, the bonnet scoop? Yeah, so um, this is sort of the style bonnet scoop I've always sort of wanted. Uh, it looks kind of similar to the VDJ sort of Land Cruiser type one, but it's different. Um, now it's something you put on yourself as well. Yeah, well, I've got Ben um, to help me with it, obviously. He pretty much did most of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I found this one on eBay, um, and I just like it, that nice slick sort of look to it. And it's something different. You really, haven't really seen any GQ with this on it in Perth, really. I haven't actually I haven't come across it. Yeah, it's got the intercool underneath it. Um, one thing I like about this one that really drew me to it is a lot of the bonnet scoops, um, obviously with the GQ, they've got that indent here on the bonnets. Usually it just goes straight across, but this one actually has a little indent, so it fits in, so it looks flush with the bonnet, like it's meant to be yeah, there. Actually, it actually sits there like it was manufactured for it. Yeah, that's it. So, um, yeah, so that's that. Um, we'll talk about the light bar on the front you've got now, since we can actually see it from the front. Yeah. So that's a, uh, I've actually forgotten the size of that, but um, yeah, it's an XTM one again. I uh, picked it up from BCF as well. And yeah, that just uh, pretty much does the job too. That's really bright. These two together works really well. That's all right. Yeah. All right, so I think that's pretty much it from the front. We yeah. can move around the side and talk about what you got going on around there and a bit of suspension work. All right, cool. No worries. 
So uh, we're around the side of Dylan's Mighty GQ here, as I call it. Um, mate, you want to tell us what you got going on with the tyres and suspension? Yeah, so tyres, it's uh, 35 inch tyres on uh, 15 inch rims um, and negative 44 offset. So yeah, there are big stats on it. They are pretty big tyres. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they are. Uh, they're just uh, the tyres, it's a cheapy brand, um, but Terramax. Yeah, Terramax. Are they mud, mud tires? Yeah, yeah, yeah mud trains. Um, but yeah, like they do do the job, and um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with them. Yeah. yeah. Um, and about your, your springs and shocks and just lift? Yeah, so the lift, I'm running uh, four inch Ironman coils. Um, on the rear, I've got uh, constant loads. So, um, so that just basically. Makes everything sit up a little bit higher, so then obviously with the weight I got in the back it doesn't droop it down too much. Um, I've got six inch um, foam cell pro Ironman uh, shocks, so that just gives me a bit more down travel when I'm off road, sort of going through wombat holes and flexing and stuff like that. This thing does flex. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, um, I've actually got some superior engineering um, coil retainers as well. I've got to still got to put that in. Um, so that basically, because I've had a few issues when I flex, my coils sort of pop out. Yeah. So I've got to um, I've got to put them in. Um, but yeah, I've also got um, oh, it's on the rear. I've got my extended bump stops as well. I've got ones in the front, just haven't put them in yet. And I'm running Ironman uh, drop boxes as well underneath. So that just basically drops the radius arm down a bit more and just brings. So when you lift the car, yeah. everything sort of rotates, so it just, it just brings just that back. With the lift. Yeah, it just brings your whole diff back a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And your, your side steps and your bar work you got going on here? Yeah, so um, basically to match the, the same theme on the front of the ARB, I went with the ARB side steps and rails. Um, I like the look of it. All sort of, it's not too bulky. It all just sort of comes in and hugs in nicely, especially... Up yeah. there, um, so a nice checker plate on it, and it's it's pretty solid. Um, might get a camera shot of the other side. <laughs> Fortunately, I've damaged it, but I'm gonna go into I'll go yeah, more detail on that later. Yeah, yeah. Um, and same with the other side as well. I've already you can tell I've used these a bit because I've already got quite a bit of scratches on the other side from it, pretty much just after I brought them. So with the power lines and done a bit of damage. They are they running gear with side platforms and that, so yeah, so, yeah. yeah so oh, and what are these don't obviously come out factory on GQs? No, uh, well they, they do have they don't come out factory flares but um these no yeah but these ones aren't yeah, factory yeah so. but then they're not factory no they're actually bunning special <laughs> <laughs> bunnings garden edging so I actually got Ben to make them up for me and he actually made them look half decent, you know, so uh, yeah, um, so you've got a snorkel or something going on here? Yeah, so this snorkel here, um, actually got it for free, scored it for free, so it's a safari snorkel. Um, just the head of it was a bit damaged, so I've just replaced it with an Ironman 4x4 head on it, so it's safari snorkel, Ironman 4x4 head. Um, yeah, snorkel. <laughs> so yeah. That's the job, it does what it needs to do, especially when it's in water. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, we'll move on down the car a bit. Tell us a little bit about, I see you got a fox wing up here. Yeah, so it's a fox wing 270 degree awning. So if you don't know, basically it's an awning that swings right out. It comes way out to the back of the car, so it covers the back end as well. Um, yeah, so provides a good bit of shade. Good cover for you. That's it. I um, picked that up second hand as well, quite cheap. The cover was seen better days so i went onto the site and picked up a new cover for it um it was like 80 bucks or something so i just kind of scored a good deal on that one that's all right so yeah you pick them up cheap and they need a few bits and pieces and you just replace them there yeah pretty much yeah oh uh, yeah yeah roof rack roof rack yeah uh that's got that second hand as well that's a uh, i'm pretty sure it's a super center one so um yeah it's just a standard roof rack um, yeah, I've got, uh, got a super center, um, solar panel on the top as well, sitting straight on the flat there. Yeah. Um, yeah, and yeah. 
pretty much that's the pretty route. much the route. Yeah. Solar panels all wired up, obviously. And yeah. you've got the good old weather shields on yeah, the side. Yeah, weather shields, yeah. There's they're one good. thing my car doesn't have yet. So I do have to have them now. Yeah, no, definitely get them. They're great. Yeah, they're good. So I'll have to get those on my car. Yeah. All right, so uh, that's pretty much the side suspension. He's got the bars on it. His roof rack and his Fox Wing awning. We're going to jump around the back and see what's going on around there. Cool. All right, so we've uh, come around the back here. And, uh, fairly new, only brought it along. I used to have the Ridge Rider, uh, Ridge Rider one, but um, had that for like a couple of years and it's lasted for quite a while and it just ended up falling off halfway down the power line straight to go back and get it at all my recovery again. So oh. I just picked this one up fairly cheap. So. And they would do those drivers, obviously, you've got rubbish, put rubbish in it. You say rubbish on the track, put rubbish in it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I use it for rubbish. Um, or either my recovery gear as well, if it gets muddy or whatever, just yeah. chuck it in there. Pretty much stuff like that, yeah. So yeah, if you haven't got one, put one on your car. I can't unfortunately fit one on the Prado until I get my fuel wheel carrier. Yeah. Um, I've noticed there's a little square thing up the top there. Yeah, that's my uh, camera from my reverse camera. Um, when we get to the cab, you know, see more of that, I'll explain that. But yeah, that's the camera for it. Constant, up there constant for on one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, same as mine, constant on one. Yeah. And the uh, lights you got going on there? Yeah, these lights here, um, actually not, not even connected yet, to be honest. <laughs> um, I've put it on How long there. have they been on the car? Oh, a long time now. <laughs> I just haven't, yeah. Um, mean to get to it, but I'm just not quite sure when to use it for yet. Maybe just from, maybe reverse lights. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, they're on there for now. I might even use them as camping lights or something like that. But, One day they'll get wired up. Yeah. And you got the, you tell us a bit about your wheel carrier here because I know you're carrying the two wheels on it as well. Yeah, so this wheel carrier, um, I'm not sure the exact brand, um, but I brought it uh, second hand. Um, don't know if many people know, uh, from, uh, off of um, from Brownie. Um, bought it from him. He used to have on his old GQ Patrol. And this is pretty much the exact sort of bowls um looking for. So seeing it come up and yeah, thought I'd to get it. And it could do with a bit of a paint now though, it's getting a bit a bit old like bit the old car. now. Yeah, <laughs> like the car. So I'm gonna run eventually take it off and won't well, be bothered <laughs> and give it a bit of a paint. But uh, yeah, it's just basically the dual carrier for both the tires at the moment. Um and it just protects everything else underneath as well. So taking a few good hits. Yeah. That. Oh, and basically your standard tow bar that you got on there. Just yeah, standard tow bar. Just going to stitch in there for the recovery point. Um, so that's, that's pretty much what we got going on at the back. You want to open her up and we can see what you got going on inside? Yeah. The party back. Go exploring, eh? Hopefully it's Go exploring. exploring. As you normally play too. I've also... You, they, these are usually dummy lights, but you can actually wire these up as well to work. Um, but yeah, these upgraded ones, these are from eBay as well. They're the clear lens, like smoked out sort of look ones. I like them as well, quite, quite nice. Hey, uh, have you got them wired up? No. Or they not just, you can do it eventually? Yeah, basically what I want to do is these ones here, are going to wire up, obviously, work. But I want to do the same as what uh, so Ben's got, he's got them at the top as well. So. All right. So uh, in the back, you've opened it up. We'll see what's got going on in. Yeah, so I got the Titan rear drawer system um, in the back here. So yeah, I've, uh, that's made a world of difference because I'll try to find a picture somewhere. I got a picture of what it used to look like in the back here before I had these drawers in. It was horrible. There's this is like a mountain of stuff stacked everywhere. So that's definitely sorted everything out. Um, yeah, so that does the job. Uh, Finally got a fridge in here now. Well, before I was just doing the old, you know, esky and ice. So, King's fridge. Yeah, King's fridge, uh, 60 litre one. So, don't have a drop down slide. slide yet, which would definitely help. But yeah, the price you pay for them, I just can't justify it to be honest. So I've just got one of the little steps to put on the ground, so I can reach in there. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. They um, work all right too, the kings. Yeah, these these are wicked, eh? I haven't really 
Um, I, yeah, it's, it works great. It's just um, probably need to get. I don't have the dual battery system sort of thing set up yet. I've only got it's just running solar. So, but when we talk about upgrades later on, that's probably something. Yeah. Say, but yeah. Um, and uh, where are you storing your drawers? Just your in the drawers, yeah. I've got um, it's a bit messy at the moment because we just come back from camping uh, the other weekend, so I haven't quite. I've got taken everything out to sort out. So usually in here, I've got a lot of <laughs> gas cans, yes, but uh, normally in here, so I'd keep uh, my my gas cans for my cooker. Um, I've got a big tub here, and it's basically got everything I need for cooking. So all my utensils. Yeah, um, sits inside your drawer. Yeah, it just sits straight in there. So. It's got a lid, so I just lift the lid up when I open it. It's got, um, I've got a pack in there for basically, yeah, my utensils or cutlery, um, <laughs> plates, just like anything like that I pretty much need for cooking. It's all pretty much in there. Just keep the spices and stuff in there. I've got my coffee, sugar. Uh, I've got a, I did have a couple of spare parts that sit in the back here, but I've got all my ropes and all that sort of stuff. So basically, just all the camping and cooking so, stuff stays yeah. in that side. Um, just draw, just a little serious draw. Um, so that's my little step I've got. So I've got all my fuses, keep fuses in there. Um, got my shovel, got some grease, bin bags. Um, Basic camping necessities and, and yeah, necessities. Yeah, and I keep pretty much, it's where all my tools are kept. So I've got a whole tool kit in here, tool pro one. Um, it's an automotive one, so it's all your main stuff you need for your car. Um, yeah, keep my. I take them out normally, but if I go full drive and put them in, I keep my rattle guns and whatnot in there. Uh, WD forty, just pretty much. Yeah, this is the tool tool side of it. So when things go wrong, <laughs> when they go wrong, so yeah, that's pretty much where I keep all up. Um, I've got a battery box on this side. Or on this side. I don't know if you can see that. Get a close look later. So, got the battery box here. This, uh, that, fridge. That's why that's the one that wires up to your solar panel. Yeah. So this this here wires up to my solar panel. Uh, it's on an Anderson plug yeah. at the back there. So this battery box with Anderson plug. It's got the um, USB. Um, yeah, it's just got basically everything I need. On the voltmeter and everything. Voltmeter, all that sort of stuff. And then obviously with the solar. Controller. Controller here, and that just runs straight up to the solar. Um, yeah, that's, that's what's powering my fridge at the moment. Um, but there's a couple of upgrades going to do with that down the track. So, Future yeah. Upgrades. Yeah, that's it. Then obviously around my fridge here, I'm just just the main little things I need quickly. Something's got like hand sanitizer, air guard. You always need spray and wipe when you're off road. Yeah, <laughs> spray and wipe. <laughs> so it's, yeah. Um, yeah, just sunscreen. And your 20 litre water container into that. Yeah, so that's actually, um, I got that idea from, oh, just walk around a scene, I think Graham Cahill done it uh, quite a while ago. I seen an old one and he'd done one of these, basically had the same similar sort of setup and I really like the idea. So it's just a gravity, gravity fed one really. So that's at the back there, the water, and at the back it's plugged in with a hose and it runs down. And I've run it through my drawers here. Then it comes out through here and through a hose. Oh, okay. So it sticks out through there and I put a just a have connection on it. Have connection on, on the end. Basically just turns on. Comes out. Mm. So you can wash your hands, do your dishes, even if you want to fill up the kettle or whatever you want to do. So that's something I really like. Something I just put together. So yeah. That's that's that. Then you got the cargo barrier in there, obviously. Yeah. The little kids stop stuff flying forward. Yeah, that's it. And I can also just basically, well, before I had this in, I could just basically, I can still do it now. I pack everything right up. So it just sits against the cargo barrier. Um, I need to probably get Ben to eventually make me something up in here. And he'll help me do that. And basically, uh, similar to what he's got, he's got a cage for his fridge. So I'm get that in as well. That's right. Um, and this here. And what do you got going on the door? This is just a little table. Pretty much made up. Um, That's a pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade a bit more, but it just basically sits my cooker on it. 
um, and just cook here. And then obviously I've got my dish tray here, so I can wash dishes in there. Um, tea towel hangs up there. Basic, yeah, basic little setup for off road. Yeah, but I started using. I've got a fold out table that I'll put here. And I'll usually use. My, I've started using my cooker on that now. And then this, I just like say sandwiches, or if I'm getting preparing stuff, we'll do it over here. But it's everything's still kind of a work in progress, and just trialing and error everything, and seeing what works for me and what doesn't. So. Um, eventually it all comes together doesn't it yeah so i'm one event i'm planning on either this side probably this side i want to put something here so i can sort of have my spices and sauces and everything in there but i don't know yet yeah it's just sort of see what what works but um yeah that's pretty so that's much pretty much the inside of the back pretty much the back i think yeah that's all it. right cool yeah and uh i noticed on this door Couple of secrets here, mate. You want to tell us a little bit about this? Your Instagram and that? Yes, yeah, so that's just my Instagram page, uh, Dylan's Ventures underscore forty two. Um, basically, if you want to see any more of my car or things that I get up to or whatever else we sort of get up to, I post a bit of everything. Post the car. I post some cool pictures. What we'll I do on the track, we even videos. So they can follow you on on your Instagram. Yeah, as well. so follow my Instagram if you like, and just see what I get up to. Really. So it's Dylan Dylan's Ventures forty two. Underscore 42. Yeah. And Instagram. Cool. All right. Well, we'll uh, move around the other side because there's one little thing on the other side of notice. We'll get that and then uh, move on into the cab. There you go. Okay. So, yeah, we'll move around the other side now strictly because I've noticed, um, like, what I want to do to my cars run the second awning as well. But Dylan's actually got a second one up here. You want to tell us a little bit about that awning? Yeah, so this one here is just the XTM. Uh, I think it's the two meter one. I do want to upgrade it to the two and a half, but that's just pretty much if I pull up to the beach or something and I just want to quickly pull the awning out, just uh, nice and easy. I just usually set this one up. Um, otherwise, I will set up the fox wing, but the fox wing is more for camping. If I know I'm going to be stationary, I'll set that up because it comes right at the back. So when I'm cooking at the back, it sort of covers all that as well. So this one's more just an awning. Just so you just would use this out. one for more an overnighter and the fox wing for a couple of days. Yeah, pretty much. Or even if I'm pulling up just for a beach or yeah. something like that, sort of a bit of shade, I'll just quickly chuck this one out if I'm not hanging around too long, you know. But I, I've noticed now I use the Fox Wing more than anything really because um, we're camping. And even if we do just pull up something, I'll just, I'll just throw the Fox Wing out. Yeah. But, yeah. So running both from Fox Wing on one side and this on the other. This yeah. would be a pretty big space you've got under shade, wouldn't it, when it's yeah. both open up? Yeah, yeah, no. Nah. It's, pretty, it's pretty good. So, yeah, that's pretty much all the outside of his car. I think we'll... um. Move on into the cab. There's nothing else. I'd, as we were saying, this one on his side steps, this one's a little bit more bent than the other sides. Yeah, unfortunately, I uh, did that over the weekend. They um, basically come, up too, come up too close to a rock step that was sticking out and um, yeah, hit it a bit too hard. So it's a shame, but as long as you can get your door open and close, mate. Well, like I can that. now, I couldn't at first. <laughs> But yeah, it, it happens, fortunately. But yeah, that's pretty much the uh, outside then. So I guess we'll move on into the cab and see what's going on in there. Sounds good. All right. So we're inside Dylan's cab now and uh, going to get him to explain a bit what's going on here. And first of all, like you would have seen his camera at the back, we'll talk about this. I know he did have one the same as mine. Yeah, so <laughs> basically this is my reverse camera. It also films camera from the front but the main reason why i got this is because i, I can't see anything out my back so yeah. i just mainly use it for the reverse camera um i did have the same one as what you had but uh, i did a beach trip and originally it was the um rear view mirror was originally on here and it just kept falling off oh, okay. then adding that to it we're making it heavier so I did the beach run it just kept falling off and it actually damaged the reverse camera so I went back online on eBay and couldn't find it the same one again, so I got this one, um, which I actually quite like. It's a lot slimmer and it's more wider, and uh, it's touch. It's all touch screen as well, so I yeah, can, I know the other ones all white buttons. Yeah, and when I'm the reverse camera, you actually touch the screen. If you want to look high, you can swipe up, and all the camera will show it going higher. You can go lower, so you can see right on the floor. So it moves around like that. So I might have to get me one of those. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's good. I quite like it. I might get you to send me the link. Yeah, hopefully it's still on there because I know they go through them all quite a bit. But, all yeah. right, so there's his camera. Um, just what do you got going on in the dash here? Yeah, so uh, I've got 
Here I've got my XRS GME. Yeah. I bloody love this thing. <laughs> there's so much more to this thing. I still haven't even worked, like, figured out yet with it, but there's so much you can do with it. Um, I just like it because obviously being in GQ, it's so noisy in here, I can't hear anything. So yeah. this has got the speaker actually on here. Um, so it's quite loud. You can hear everything. Um, but, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so I like that. Yeah, I've seen them. I haven't. I, I've only got the thirty five hundred. I did look at them when I went to get mine as well, but yeah, never got one. Yeah, nah. So it's good because the actual it's that, the actual deck hides, isn't it? Yeah, I hit it down there. I got to probably move it again because obviously when I sunk the car, the water kind of got to it. So yeah, from we actually have them where we work, and they actually hide them in behind the dash of the cars. Yeah, I'm gonna probably do and that. And they bring it out, and it's just this bit here, your handpiece, and that you've got connected. Pretty much side. everything's. Y you on need there. is on here yeah. and that's what i really like um because i don't want to be feeling around any i want everything in my hands as i'm yeah. driving it's all here i can hear everything nice and clear and then yeah just hide the unit away pretty much and all just it's there right close to me so I, I really like that it's really good probably a better option if you don't want to be playing with knobs and stuff like that or always looking yeah down and stuff it. it's all on the actual screen there. yeah it's australian made as well so it's good and your stereo system and yeah a little can Contraptions going on here? Yeah, so this year it's just the JVC stereo, uh, just, yeah, Bluetooth and whatnot. Just, yeah, basically just a bit of tunes. Plays music? Yeah, pretty much. Keeps the missus happy? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that's um, and, uh, so you got the extension USB and lighter socket? Yeah, that's there. That's actually from Kmart. It cost me like five bucks or something. And it's, I've had a few of those. Yeah, it's <laughs> quite good. I can run my more USBs, more... Just whatever I need off of it, really, like that. So, yeah, that's... Is that one... Have you hardwired that, or is that not hardwired, that? Uh, no, that's just basically I've fed it oh, through. Yeah, straight in. And it just yeah. comes in straight into there. But I'm, I'm going to eventually hardwire it. But obviously, because I don't need this, I just get more runs yeah. off of that. So, yeah, I've just kept it like that for now. Um, right. And then this here, I've got the Oricom um, UHF as well down there. But um, that's not... Obviously, I don't have it connected at the moment, but... Uh, I've just kept it in there, but it's going to be a big, ugly gap. So, yeah, so but I'm planning on eventually getting another um, antenna and probably running that one as a second one. Highway use? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Usually Channel 40 for that, for those that don't know. Yeah. Um, uh, what else we got going on with the Kings? I've got a couple of these, but none of mine seem to be working. Yeah, it's just basically to... Kings fridge monitor. Yeah, I don't know how accurate it is at the moment, but yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good. So it just tells me basically you what... You just watch it while you're driving. Yeah. And... Every, everyone pretty much knows what that is. That's but, all. Yeah. Um, one of the good mods I've done in this is the cup holders down here. I, um, they're aftermarket because they don't, yeah, come, with they don't cup, come with them, do no, they? they don't come no. with cup holders. So that was a, one of the best ones I've done. One of the best mods I've put in it, <laughs> you'd say. Um, nice little compact one too, isn't it? And you've still got... Switches you can put in yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, little spots for switches there too. Um, yeah, what else we got going on here? I got, oh yeah, I got a um, brake controller. It's a red arc, old red arc one, but that was in it when I pretty much purchased this car. It's, oh, it's pretty similar to mine, except mine's got the doll. Yeah, yeah, so um, that was in it when I purchased it. This car was pretty much dead stock when I brought it, and that was pretty much the only thing upgraded in it. Um, I haven't really, I don't have really tow much with this yet, um, but it's, at least it's handy, it's there, so if I need it. And a couple of spotlight switches in it. Yeah, it's got my spotlights, obviously, so I've got my, um, for the light bar and also for the spotlights at the front. That's for that. Everything else is pretty much stock except for a couple of Oh, yeah, I've got my uh, pillar pot up here. I brought that. I think off guy off like marketplace or something, just the pillipod. And then I got my gauges here, the, the SAS ones. So I got my exhaust temp. Um, <laughs> still not, I need to wire that in. That's still not look actually wired in yet. So I'm playing a bit dangerous at the moment, not, oh, not be okay. able to look at yeah. that. <laughs> and then I've got my boost gauge. So just I could just check um, basically what my boost is going at. Usually it goes spikes at about 16, 18 psi. But, uh, yeah, so that's that, and you get a little microphone over there. So obviously your blue, your yeah, hands free, blue, hands free. Yeah, that's always that's wise to have well. hands free. Don't get caught on your phone these days. No, nah, that's good. It's, it's, yeah, it's good. good that's pretty much 
The inside, um, I think so. Yeah, I don't really know as much, much more much else. More going on. Bit of fire. Uh, first aid kit on the back wall there. Yeah, so first aid kit. Have. That's uh, pretty much got everything you need in it. Um, for a certain point anyway that you need. Um, we've got the glass uh, seatbelt cutter and glass breaker as well yep. on the back. Hanging up, and I've also got one in here as well. So always handy tool to have in the car. And that's it. Um, might have missed a few things, but that's pretty much the basics. Any of I do have really to is. ask one question though. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at your doors, mate. Yep. They're not standard GQ door handles, are they? When you shut your doors? No, they're not. Is that something the wife made you put on? <laughs> no, I actually put them on myself. Um, I I actually need to get better. She twisted your arm, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> I actually need yeah, um, better bolts put in because they're kind of coming out, but they're wicked. The colour stays the same. They haven't faded or anything, and they're quite durable. They're uh, from a company called um, Get a Grip, and mm -hmm. um, they actually make them. So, yeah, you can actually pick whatever colours you want. And yeah, you just email them and they make them for you. They actually do keychains and key rings, hey. stuff like that as well. So, okay, so there you have it. He's got customized interior door handles. <laughs> Still think the wife's got something to do with it. <laughs> That's pretty much the inside of the cab. Um, yeah, so we've shown you what's in here. We'll swap around with footage and put them up here and there. Just basic setup inside his GQ. And, uh, yeah, so now we'll move on to the front and see what other future mods he wants to do with his car. So uh, that's how we've done around the car and that, and the inside of the cab. Dylan's explained what he's got going on around it and on the inside. Maybe we've got to ask the question, is there any other future upgrades you want to do to it or different mods you want to put in or have you, you know, gone and you thought about anything else further you could do to your car? Yeah, definitely there is. Um well, there's, <laughs> it's never ending with this thing, eh? Like, there's just always something else I want to put in here or something I might need. Um, but I won't bore you with too much of that information. I'll just basically tell you the main sort of things, really. So, uh, it won't be anything too soon, but I think I should have done it. I really should have done it originally, but um, I think I'm going to upgrade the side steps to probably rock sliders. Because now the stuff that I'm doing, a lot more, uh, it's... They're probably damage them a lot. Yeah, of because so. I mean, they're stout, but they're nice side steps, you know, and they're not really meant for being bashed around too much. So I think I'm going to upgrade that to rock sliders. But it's a shame because I like the look of them, but I think I really do need the rock sliders. So that's nothing I'm going to do too quickly, but yeah. it'd be eventually I'm going to get rock sliders probably next once I probably unfortunately damage these a bit more. <laughs> um, probably the other thing would be the dual battery. So um have the battery box in the back and still run the soul obviously but um i've noticed it gets very cloudy like or um where, where i've got my solar panel when i've got my swag and stuff on there and i'm driving a long distance it it's not charging. Really charging yeah so it doesn't you, charge you the battery really the so i really need the dual battery well like the, the system in there so then i can crank obviously while i'm driving or yeah, charge up your rear yeah, battery or the solar panel just for when you stop pretty much that's something I'm same setup i've got that's probably one of the first things I'm going to be doing uh, pretty pretty soon. I need to get that in there. And also, as uh, is upgraded lower control arms, I think it's superior ones. As, um, as you've seen on, if the video's already come out when this comes out, I kind of completely bent. It's actually the second time it's happened. I've got stand lower control arms and... I bent it like a banana going up a hill climb and my whole diff twisted and blew my shocks, destroyed the shocks, um, all that. So basically, yeah, I've got to, I've got to upgrade them, the low control arms. So they're just heavy duty ones? Yeah, I've got to get heavy duty ones because the ones in the GQs, these ones, the low control arms are just, yeah, they're, they're not very strong. So it's a bit later on in the future? Yeah, well, that's <laughs> that one's from hopefully pretty soon. In the future. Yeah, the near future. The near so, future, yes. Um, that's pretty much the main things at the moment that I need to really sort out. Obviously, there's a lot of other stuff that I would like to get, but that's sort of the main stuff. It's like every four you, you you think you've done everything, and then you realise there's something else you want to do. That's it, yeah. But it's a matter of where you can fit it if you've got no space left. So, I mean, the Prados are a perfect example. Yeah, and I like to get sort of the main bushes as well. Face like the radius arm stuff like that, that needs to be replaced too. They're getting a bit worn out. Maintenance, it's all come Basically, up. Basically, yeah. yeah. So that's uh, 
pretty much it. Then it's the walkthrough and we've done the walkthrough. We've seen what Dylan's got going on in his car and heard him about it. Like, his, like he said, his control arms, he wants to get heavy duty ones because he has done it twice now. Mm. Which you will have seen from a video that we put up, a short video that we put up. Um, yeah, so that's basically Dylan's Mighty GQ, as we call it. And uh, I know it's, this thing sounds like a truck when it's going, so it's obviously not a standard exhaust either. No, it, oh, yeah, that's one thing. Look, about uh, basically it's three inch straight through. So, so yeah, no it muffler, does, nothing. It does give it the noise and makes it sound like the beef it is. And this thing is very, very capable off road, I'll give it that. And I'm not a Nissan person, I'm a Land Cruiser <laughs> person, but this is one car he has actually kept that. Most of us Land Cruiser drivers actually admire because of what it can do. So, yeah, that's um, that's Dylan's GQ. That's pretty much it for, for us boys here at WA Forbes Adventures, bringing you Dylan's walkthrough. And uh, we hope you're liking our videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and the bell notification, guys. And um, jump on to our Facebook and Instagram. Also, you can jump onto Dylan's Instagram, Dylan's Ventures underscore 42, because he also posts photos like most of the crew does we all post photos on our instagram as well as the crew and our personal stuff so yeah guys once again hope you're liking these videos don't forget to hit the like hit the subscribe and we'll come back to you on the next wa forbes adventures cheers cheers Flying through the sky in my parachute Dancing on the couch like I'm Tommy Cruise On a one-man mission trying to see it through, yeah I got the password, yeah I finally got the password Added up the numbers, now the math works I got the way to make the path work All these lies turned in from green